extortion detected in the western slums. Alert regions 3 through 8. I repeat. Now, is this us? Like, is this our group, Ichigo's group? Distortion detected in the western slums. Is that where we came out? Or is this something else going on? Did not notice that whole Rasta V, so those are definitely AV cords. Intruders! So, okay, if it's on the other side, we can't do anything. No, they'll have to deal with it. Jindambo. Okay. But so, yeah. Soul Society also can't interfere past this barrier point. That's actually very interesting. Oh, okay, here we get our look here. Yes. Yeah, like <laughs> so, okay, it's like a bowl sort of thing. Newly arrived souls stay here. Its residents rarely enter the Seirite and must have permission to do so. We're right here, right outside the west gate. There's th four gates. Um, Jindanbo, I assume this is like muscle people, not just this guy. The white road, the red hollow gate, the blue stream gate, and the black ridge gate. The Seirite is here as well. The town where the soul reapers live. She's in there somewhere. And the sword person, don't we get any lines? Oh, no, it does seem really hard, actually. <laughs> okay, are they going to be waiting for us just right there? Oh my god, Gen's right there. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-oh, this won't do. Oh, arms lost, arms lost. Gatekeeper isn't supposed to open gates. That's his entire job. That's literally his whole job is to let people pass through the gates if they're worthy enough. And we didn't even see how he did it at all. Oh, he loves it. He's gonna love the rain of blood. Oh, it's coming down. Oh, right on his neck. You didn't think someone of his caliber would show up. Why is that? Okay, a gatekeeper that loses can't open gates because a gatekeeper that loses dies. Okay. He's got a tiny little sword. His hilt. Interesting design there. Hair the color of a daylily. Sword as long as he is tall. He must be Ichigo Kurosaki. Hmm, all the more reason not to let you pass. It's not a short sword. This is my Zanpakuto. So, he's going super far away and it's going to extend extremely far. Like, we did hear that, you know, the bigger your sword is, the more willpower you have. Shinso. Uh, yeah, it is just, it's a skewering sword. It's super long. Oh. Oh, he threw was back into him, pushed, uh, gate's gonna come down. I'm not sure if he can lift it up again with just one arm. Again, but we'll see. Okay, but oh, we were close. We were close. And Rinji, right there watching. All these days seeing her so alive. Timara intercepted him. Could he really be alive? Mm, yeah, that's true. And okay. Here is the motherfucker, the only person I know by name only, does not look familiar at all. Sosuke Aizen, captain of the 5th company. But yeah, seems super kind and nice and everything like that, but also has this hinge of, or like this, this twinge of uh, coldness to this. Not that, even just like this like, why are we getting this big ass panel for this? Like, this guy seems so nice, why are we doing it like this? Okay, how many years has it been since I lost you to Kampanchi? So he used to work for him, then now he's working for, uh, also, so he's working for Kampanchi now. Oh, right, you're in the sixth company now, aren't you? Okay, so, it's been a long time since he lost him to Kampanchi. He would have been in the 11th division, but now he's in the sixth division. Okay, but I'm sure Aizen would have liked to have had him here the whole time. Seems that like he is upset about having him not under him anymore, because, assumingly, him, Gen, and uh, Kampachi are all working towards some sort of revolt, uprising, coup, or maybe just uh, something else entirely way more specific. You're close to her. This execution is what it's all hinging upon. Right to the point. Does Rukia deserve to die? Which I think it's strange. Her cr okay, okay. Her crime was the unauthorized loan of her spirit powers. And oh, and an oh, well, hmm. That both sounds like it would have been after the series began. I mean, I'm wrong, but like the way they've been making it sound, she did a crime, then maybe because of that or something else, she left Soul Society, but like none of that Ichigo stuff was, I thought, why she was getting executed. Yeah, I've never heard of anyone getting the ultimate. Well, I guess is the ultimate penalty just dying then? Okay, I guess the ultimate penalty is just the death penalty. So, okay, maybe this is like from the perspective of people in Soul Society, they think her crime is just the unauthorized loan for spirit powers and all that, but she left because of something they don't know about? I don't know. But yeah, I actually have no... 
idea at all what the hell's going on with Rukia stuff. For all we know, for all intents and purposes right now, her only crime is the unauthorized loan of her spirit powers and her overlong absence from soul society. That's all they're saying the crime is for her getting the death penalty and the ultimate punishment, assuming those are the same thing. And on top of that, the immediate return and disposal of her gigai was ordered, and her stay of execution, like her prison sentence, was shortened from 35 days to 25 days or something. And of course, the use of the Sokyo for a Soul Reaper below the rank of captain is unprecedented. That was the big executing thing. The use of that for a Soul Reaper below the rank of captain is unprecedented. And so we just don't know if there's somebody higher than captains. Like, is there, you know, we have each of the captains, what's the government like here? Or, like, are they also the government? Like, we have no idea at all. It's like, he's thinking somebody's behind it. I'm going to assume that Gin and Kampachi are both working for him, or with him. But, who would be behind it? The Akia? I don't think so. Is there someone even higher that we haven't even seen yet? But yeah, he seems like he's our good guy here. And I have a bad feeling somebody's listening in. Somebody's listening in. All captains, all captains, report immediately for emergency officers conference. And okay, so now he's wearing Lucas insignia. That's how he got on the cover page last volume, or in his uh, character page last volume. Okay, this is the seventh company guy. He's the assistant captain of the seventh company. And okay, he's being he's wearing one too. So is it multiple or just those two or what? So, okay, assistant captains that are put on their lieutenant insignia and stand by in conference room two. Well, I guess, like, are they lieutenants? Like, is an assistant captain a lieutenant or what? The lieutenant's not a captain, I'm guessing, but um, we haven't seen the seventh captain at all. So, okay, and here's the assistant captain for the fifth company, Momo Hinamori. So, we're the only three here, and now there's another person coming in here saying the captains and assistant captains are all busy running the Soul Society. So, they do run the Soul Society, except for us. Okay, oh, never mind. She's just saying, like, oh, it's going to take a long time to get here because of that. All right. More big old titties. A chain right down the titties. <laughs> this is the captain of the 10th company. Okay, haven't been able to reach my captain at all. Oh, okay, the genius. The genius, not Aizen, but Hitsugaya. Hmm, yeah, and Rinji, have you seen my captain? Captain Aizen. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> hmm, acting strange. Okay, it was strange all morning. Is it gonna happen today? I mean, we still gotta train with the spirit ball and all that shit, but maybe shit could go on while we're doing that. I thought that was gonna happen all at the same time. Us getting here and whatever Aizen's planning, whatever Gin and Kapachi are doing. She wouldn't tell me why. And what was your answer to him? Yeah, I'll probably just cancel the order any moment. <laughs> Even he's like, oh, what the hell, what the hell's going on? Okay, Gin showing up. Okay, bam, bam, here's everybody. Oh, shit. Here is everybody. Oh, my lord, you all. Are you rehiding this design, or is that just how you're gonna look? But okay, like, the only ones we know of are Byakia and Aizen. Uh, so we got Byakia of the sixth, Aizen of the fifth. Do we know any other captain? Uh, Hitsugaya, but we don't know which one that is. Gin is the third. Eleventh captain is, uh, Kampachi, obviously. And then the ninth captain we know of is the one who also is afraid of dying. Whichever one that is. This guy, what the fuck? Even your hand's white. I thought it was like a mask or something. But even your hands are white. What the hell is going on with you? This guy looks like a child, but I'm guessing he's not. I mean, we also got some short-ass people down there. This guy looks like a Hitsugaya. I don't know why I'm getting Hitsugaya vibes from this guy. Could be completely entirely wrong. He's also the only one that's kind of colorful in any way. But the rest of them all black and white, black and white, black and white. He's the only one with color all over him. Who knows what the hell's going on with this big old boy. Black guy here with the uh, glasses, kind of like Chad does. He's also got some color there. A little bit of orange. Yeah, again, his is all ragged and ripped up and everything like that. And open chested. Oh, this has got like spikes on his. Yeah, I didn't even look at this guy back here, but you know, he's got a long ass one. Old, old guy, so there is somebody higher up, assumingly. Conflictable composition. Is that just like the composition of this group is conflicting? Oh, the captains who run the Soul Society, assembling just for me. Or maybe not. Captain of 13th Company is missing, where is he? So he thinks they're all here for him, but then he was like, oh, but uh, if there's somebody else missing, maybe it's not just for me. And oh, he's missing again. <laughs> but missing again. 
do you think you were called here to discuss a sick captain? So we heard you were playing with a Ryoka without permission. Okay, so yeah, it was what he did with Ichigo then. Okay, okay, and so the meeting is for him. And this is Kimpachi saying this. Interesting, trying to separate himself from this. Yeah, let him get away. <laughs> so casual at all. Gosh, I thought he was dead. Don't pretend you didn't know. We of the Captain class can sense the disappearance of a being's spirit energy. Or were you so negligent that you didn't bother to take notice? <laughs> Stupid old men bickering. Okay, so he's not an old guy. He is a young guy. Okay, so that is why he went to go fight him himself. Because he wanted to get involved before anybody else got involved. And he wanted to let him get away. And that is Kuro Suchi. And yeah, he's like trying to get him to shut up. Like, I'm the one asking the questions here. Because he, he wants to spin this in a way. Like, he, he is like, okay, everybody's questioning what we got going on. So I'm going to distance myself from you. But also use that in a way to spin this for us. To try and like give you lowball questions. Hmm. <laughs> but toof! This is disgraceful. Kenpachi and Kurosuji stand down. But now you have some ideas why you were called here. You acted independently without orders, and by allowing your target to get away, you committed a blunder unworthy of your rank. I want to hear your explanation. That's why I called this meeting. What do you have to say? Again. <laughs> Haven't got one! Oh, the balls on Gen! Oh my god! I haven't got one. <laughs> I was careless. I have no excuse. Okay, so he's going that way. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna make excuses. I'm just saying I was careless. Whoa! Dong! Emergency! Emergency! Intruder in the Seirite! All guardsmen to battle stations! Mm hmm. No, it can't be! It can't be! There's no way we're already here. No way. This has got to be something else, but I don't know what it could be. And yeah, he was about to be like, no, no, I need this. I, I, I can't have you be getting punished either. Uh, something. Hmm. Chapter 83, come with me. And yeah, here's some more of the vice captains. <laughs> and yep, Kimbachi's just running out there. But here comes Rinji. Nope. Okay. Hey, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> Oh. Yachiro, I assume the, the assistant captain. You're gonna slay the enemy? <laughs> oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Kenny. Love it, love it. Just riding on his back. Like a little backpack. Oh yeah, can't wait to cross swords with him. A guy who survived a fight with Gen. <laughs> Alright, be informed of Gen's punishment later. What will his punishment be? God, these guys are all so fucking cool. Hmm. <laughs> We in time for the alarm to sound, eh? Mm-hmm. What could you possibly mean by that? Do you really think you can get away with it? You'd be wise not to underestimate me. Okay. So, and he overhears this. But, okay, okay, okay. So they are not working together at all. Or, like, they, they were, but, you know... They were working together, but he, he guys and things, Gin's trying to go behind his back, and I think he is definitely trying to go behind his back. Hmm. And he's got like a ninja star shaped one almost. Hmm. And yeah, we search all night, but there's no one here. What's that sound? <laughs> was it, oh, was it Ichigo's thing last night where he, you know, released his spiritual energy? Was that what made it sound off? Like, that somebody, you know, uh, like, invaded Seirite. Okay, we're gonna land right here in the middle of all the captains. Oh, boy! Oh, my God! God, so cool! Oh, intruders, too! Break through the roof mix. Hell yeah. Love, 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 love getting a part one and then way later getting a part two. Break through the roof mix. All of our mixes! What do you mean break through the roof mix? Wouldn't it be raise the roof mix? Break through the roof? Bring the house down mix, but break through the roof mix! All the colors... Beautiful! Okay, coming in hot, baby! What the hell? What the fuck is this whole thing? Oh, it stopped? Okay, we actually got stuck in there. Oh boy, gonna create a big vortex. 
like a shooting star. Mm hmm. Which one is it? Which one's the strongest one?